In this video, I will introduce the concept of the empty set. So we use this symbol to represent the empty set. The empty set is a set with nothing in it. In other words, for every object x, x is an element of the empty set is always false, because there's nothing in the empty set. We also sometimes use curly braces with nothing inside of them to represent the empty set. And the empty set shows up in mathematics all the time, so it's worthwhile to know a bit more about it. One thing I would like to mention is that the empty set and the set containing the empty set are two completely different things. The first is the empty set, while the second is a set containing the empty set. So a helpful way to think about this is to view the empty set as an empty computer folder. In that case, the set containing the empty set is another computer folder containing the empty folder. So just keep in mind that these two things are completely different. One last thing I want to show you is a proof that the empty set is a subset of every other set. So for any arbitrary set S, the statement the empty set is a subset of S is always true. And we can show this by the following argument. So if we have a set A, and we want to show that A is not a subset of S, then we must find some object X, where X is an element of A, and X is not an element of S. So if we can demonstrate this, then we can conclude that A is not a subset of S. So if it turns out that the empty set is not a subset of S, then it must be the case that we can find an object X where X is an element of the empty set, and X is not an element of S. So if we can demonstrate this, then we can conclude that the empty set is not a subset of S. But since there are no elements in the empty set, we cannot demonstrate this. So we cannot demonstrate this because this statement here is always false. So we cannot find an element that is in the empty set, but not in the set S. And since we cannot demonstrate this, we cannot conclude that the empty set is not a subset of S. So it must be the case that the opposite of this statement is true, and the opposite of this statement is the statement the empty set is a subset of S. And so that's how we can conclude that the empty set is always a subset of any set S.